Tweet of the day comes from Digital Asset Investor. The most important five minutes you'll see today. Gold, hashtag XRP. Gold will be the foundation of a new system. Now, before I start this video, realize that the West has been dropping hints for a long time regarding a gold-backed currency. Jerome Powell and Rosie Rios have dropped hints in interviews about this. Take a look at this video and let me know your thoughts. Both cases, in, in whether we're talking the BRICS currency or the Shanghai Corporation organization, they will both use gold to peg to their new system. Whether it be a new BRICS currency that will be pegged to gold, remember, in order to get everyone to the table, all you have to do is say, look at what those bastards in the West are doing. They're going to freeze your assets. They're going to kick you out of SWIFT. Heck, Europe just voted to take the assets that they froze from Russia and use them to rebuild the Ukraine. So all of these other countries who, who maybe don't really like what the U.S. is doing, well, that's the rallying cry. It is the gold pegged to a new system that will be the glue that makes it work. So whether it be the BRICS currency or whether it be the Petro Yuan, which is immediately convertible into gold on the Shanghai Gold Exchange or the new settlement currency by the Shanghai Corporation Organization, do you think there's any coincidence? Do you think that this is any coincidence that the central banks have bought more gold Gold than at any time in the last 55 years. Look at the three countries that are leading the way. Turkey just joined the BRICS. India is in the BRICS. Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, all of these countries are part of the Shanghai Corporation Organization. They are preparing for a global shift. We are witnessing a massive de-dollarization. And here's the nail on the dollar coffin. Just came out a few days ago. Saudi Arabia said at this latest meeting that uh, at Davos that they are open to taking other currencies for oil settlement. Why? Because there's strength in numbers. In and of themselves, these countries cannot stand up to the West. But together, they have a bigger GDP, a bigger military presence, and they are indeed coalescing together against the Western hypocrisy, against the Western hegemony, and they are coalescing against the West. It's happening. It's happening. I'm telling you, this is happening. The world is moving to de-dollarization. There's no question about that. But let's just play it out for one second, right? What happens? How does it happen? How does the Great Reset that Klaus Schwab talked about happens? It's really very easy. Saudi Arabia gets up on stage after all of the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed, and they say to the West, hey, thank you. Thank you for the memories. It's been great. We appreciate the 50 years of protection. But you know what? You guys are going green. You've already told us you're going green. We've partnered up with 80% of human population, and they're not going green. And so we're going to open up oil sales in other currencies. Maybe they say we're just going to do it in the new Petro Yuan, or maybe it's going to be the new BRICS currency, the central bank digital currency pegged to gold. But what I will tell you is this, when that happens, when that really happens, now we just saw they're open to it, but when it happens, bang, just like that, every country on the planet that's had to own dollars to buy oil will dump those dollars. And a tidal wave, a tsunami of inflation will hit the shores of the West. And when that happens, God help us all, because all of these assets are inversely correlated to what? to a spike in interest rates. When you see that inflationary tsunami hit the shores of the West, you will see a spike in interest rates that has to rise in order to compensate for the loss of purchasing power. The Federal Reserve is a sideshow. They will never raise rates high enough to compensate. To, 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 they will never raise rates high enough to tackle inflation. If this happens and the dollar loses its singular world reserve currency and every country on the planet no longer needs to hold dollars in order to buy oil, just wait and see what happens to asset prices in the wake of interest rates that spike to the moon. The three pillars of wealth in the, in the United States or in the West are what? Stocks, bonds, and real estate. All are inversely correlated to a rise in interest rates. So what Jay Powell tells you, oh, we're going to raise it by another quarter point. That's all a bunch of crap. Wait until see what happens when the dollar loses its world reserve status. So what Klaus Schwab said isn't so crazy after all. I think the rest of the world is coming to a point in time where they just say, you know what? 
enough is enough. And now we have a, a whole schoolyard worth of, of people to stand up against the bully. And I think if you don't own gold right now, you're making a big mistake.